Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be making some beef jerky. Yes, that's right. I'm gonna be making some beef jerky and I'm going to be adding some proper Worcestershire sauce. So that's gonna be in my beef jerky marinade. Let me show you the full recipe and let's get cracking making this stuff up. So this is my top side joint and um, you can see I got this from my local butchers and it was already trussed up ready for roasting but I'm not using it for that. Um, I'm going to be using this for jerky obviously and um, we can see that the grain runs through the meat this way which is great but I don't want my jerky strips to be this size so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this meat laterally, make it thinner uh, before I do that, I'm going to take off this silver skin. So we just want to remove as much of this as possible without taking too much of that meat away. So that's looking good. Don't need that anymore. Right, so I'm gonna put my knife through this around about sort of halfway, and um, we'll just go straight the way through as flat as we can. There we go. So, there is our meat. Now, it has got a bit of gristle running through it. I'm gonna kind of leave that in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it in for now. But if you can get a lean piece of meat yourself, then so much the better. So we do have the grain running through this way. Now, I'm gonna be cutting this or slicing it. Instead of doing this manually, I wanna do this on my, um, on my slicer and show you a really good technique. And in order to do that, I need this to be frozen. So I've got quite a sort of semi-commercial slicer. Um, and I'm gonna freeze this rock hard, but I want it to be in a nice shape. So in order to do that, I'm gonna pop it into this container. I might need a slightly bigger one, but can you see that that is holding a really nice shape? I'm not sure that's gonna fit in there. Just trim that a little bit off the edge there. What that's going to do is give me a nice square shape to my meat and I'm going to freeze that down so when I slice it, it slices nice and accurately and I get absolutely bob on three millimetre slices from that and I can run that right the way through my slicer. By the time I get to the end, what normally happens is this bit begins to thaw and if you really need to slice that by hand, you can. Right, so I'm gonna pop this into the freezer. Let's see if I can get a lid on this just to hold it nice and firm. <laughs> Got the meat spilling out there. I think I'm gonna leave that as is, but that's fine, you get the picture. So that's gonna go straight into the freezer and uh, we'll visit that tomorrow. Right, try and get it out of this plastic container. And I'm thinking that might be a bit of a mission. And once I've done that, I've got to try and slice this on my slicer. So we'll need to get set up. Okay, that seems to be coming away from the base. Oh, yeah, that just popped. Hopefully, hey. Yes, oh, come on, oh, yes. Right, so I'm gonna set this to around about three millimeters. That's about an eighth of an inch in Imperial. That should be good for a nice, small jerky piece. So let's get our, oh, look at that, that fits perfectly. All right, let's get that on there. 
that's all bedded in nice and square. So this is the beauty of freezing this into a block that's square. It fits on the slicer and it's neat and tidy. Right, let's get slicing. Resting my hand on the back of the slicer while I'm pressing this against the blade and it's just too firm. Right. Now, I'm going to level with you here. That is too frozen. I need that to defrost for a bit. So I'm gonna stick that back in the container, pop it back in the fridge and leave it. And I'll probably do this later on today. Okay, this has been in the fridge now all day and I'm gonna give this another go at slicing it. Hopefully it'll be a little bit easier. Right, so here goes. Oh yes! Yes, that's more like it! Okay, so this beef had been defrosting in the fridge and it was just at that point where it was crystallised and just about frozen and the slices went through absolutely perfectly. That is our beef jerky slices. Look at that. Really, really accurate slices. That's exactly what we want. Right, now, let's get these popped in a marinade. Okay, let me just run through the ingredients of this beef jerky with you. I have here some Worcestershire sauce, and we're gonna be using quite a lot of that. That's a Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Other brands are available, but I think this is less sweet. It's got uh, it's got a much nicer sort of rounder, savory flavor. We're gonna add sweetener anyway. This is a Ritz's fermented hickory smoked chili sauce. So we're gonna be popping a bit of that in there. We've got some soy sauce here. This is dark soy sauce. And I've got a very unusual ingredient here. This is organic date syrup. And this is gonna be our sweetener, and I'm gonna put literally the rest of this container in there. So there's gonna be a lot of sweetness. Uh, coarse ground black pepper, and these wonderful chili flakes. So these are smoked, oak and beech smoked chili flakes, and I, I made these last year. So we cold smoked the chilies, dehydrated them, blitzed them up, and we've got them here. So we're gonna be making the uh, beef jerky using these ingredients. I'll put a full list of the ingredients in the description of the video for you. I'm gonna be using these cup measurements. So we're gonna start by adding the wet ingredients. And first of all, we've got our bowl here. And I'm gonna start by adding half a cup of Worcestershire sauce going to put a quarter of a cup. So half a cup, by the way, the Worcester sauce, that's 125 mils. A uh, quarter of a cup is uh, 60 mils. So that's going to go in there. there. We go. Right, we're going to have a teaspoon of these chili flakes because these are for visible chili. So this is our invisible heat. There we go, that's two teaspoons. Right, now comes our sweetener, and this is our date syrup. So I would say this is about 50 mils. Oh, pardon me. I'll give this a good old stir to incorporate those ingredients. And then we're gonna get our beef in this. Here is our beef, all nicely defrosted and ready to be marinated. Now, whenever I do, oh, by the way, I forgot. Always forget something coarse ground black pepper sitting there, the biggest container, didn't put any in. So 
one teaspoon of that goes in. All right, let's get this all incorporated. There we go. Right. Okay, let's get marinating. Now, if you plonk all this in in one go, you'll get some bits that don't get the marinade on them. So you'll see me putting each piece in individually so that they each get a coating before the next bit goes in. So you don't get any two bits that go together without any marinade between them. That is just a step to stop you getting some blonde bits on your jerky and to ensure that the marinade goes on every corner of this meat because we want that flavor to be all over the shop. All right. Okay, right, here we go. Enough about that. This is our meat and we're gonna press this down so that it's all covered in that marinade. I'm gonna ditch my gloves now because they are superfluous. Get rid of those. Got some cling film or plastic string as I like to call it. Sometimes very difficult to use. And I'm just gonna plonk this down onto the surface. This is now ready to go in the fridge to marinate up to 24 hours. Um, I mean, it's, it's night time now. I had to wait for that meat to defrost. So I wanted to get this filmed today. So I'll probably pull this out tomorrow lunchtime and complete the process of drying. So this will go in the fridge until then and let all those flavors infuse. Right, to the fridge. Okay, here we have our lovely jerky. This has been in the fridge now for coming up for about 18 hours. So I am going to stick this on some racks and we'll pop it in the oven with the door slightly ajar on the lowest setting. So you don't need a dehydrator for this. And, uh, and we'll dry this. Oh, this looks lovely. And because I cut this when it was frozen, it's got a really, really nice kind of even thickness to it. And that is the key thing with this particular jerky. You want it nice and <laughs> you want it nice and even thickness so it all dries evenly. That's what you want. So we'll get this on the racks. We'll get it into the uh, oven and uh, we'll let this do its thing. Right, let's get this in the oven and uh, we'll set that up now. So first things first, we'll pop this on fan oven and we'll stick it onto 50, 50 degrees Celsius. And obviously that's too hot to, to sort of dry beef jerky. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use this spoon in the doorway just to leave that door ajar. And that will stop the temperature in this oven getting too hot. So you don't necessarily need a dehydrator or any fancy equipment. If you have a fan oven, this is the way to go. Right, let us get these trays of beef jerky in here. Okay, so first one's going in. There we go. Just pop our spoon in there. We're gonna leave this like this for around about four to five hours. We will check it after a couple of hours because I think we'll need to turn the jerky, maybe rotate the racks, but we'll keep an eye on it either way. So I took the jerky out of the oven after three hours and rotated all the bits of jerky on both racks and popped them back in for about another hour. Let us check this out. All right, I think we can turn this off now. This has uh, been on for about four hours now, so let's just take this out and have a little look at that. Oh, yes. Put that down on the bench and uh, we'll get the other one out and then we'll uh, see what we got.
Okay, here's our second tray. And this is all really nicely dried now. So it's perfect. It's got a nice little bend in it. It doesn't feel squidgy, which is great. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, I am gonna pop it back in the oven, but I'm just gonna do a quick heat treatment on it. I'm gonna whack the temperature up to 80 degrees Celsius, get the oven up to temperature, and then I'm gonna pop this in there for five minutes. So it has to come out because it takes time to get up to 80 degrees and I don't want it to dry out really for any longer than it absolutely has to. So let me go and do that. Let me get the oven on and then we'll come back and we'll stick this in the oven at that temperature for around about five minutes. Now this heat treatment is simply to kill any bacteria that may be on the meat and it's just something that I always right. do. Five minutes. Okay, these are done. Off to zero. Let's get these open. Oh, I'm gonna need a tea towel. Am I? Nah, that's gonna be all right. <laughs> yeah, a little bit warmer than I thought. That's it, all the bags done. Let's get this jerky chopped up. Right, here's our jerky. This is all cooled down now. And uh, I'm gonna take it off this rack. Uh, we're gonna chop it so that I can get roughly equal portions into my vac bags. So the way I do that generally is by chopping it into sort of little chunks like that so that you have smaller pieces. When I weigh this out and put them into the individual bags, then we can weigh it, get the same amount in each bag. And it's nice, it gives me sort of even portions so we know what we're getting. Right, that's it, all chopped up. And now all I'm gonna do is weigh this out put some in some bags and um, I'll get it all vac packed. Right, let me get this bagged up and I can get it in the freezer. Okay, another bit of magic. Yay, look at that, all vacuum packed, ready to go in. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 240 grams of, of beef jerky, which is amazing. And uh, I'll stick some of this in the, uh, freezer and uh, luckily look this didn't quite add up to 40 grams so oh which is a real shame because i'm gonna have to eat this oh. delicious it's got such a beautiful flavor it's not too dry either it's just right i've had it before where it snaps and it, i don't really like that i like it with just a little bit of bend and we got this just right so in the oven with the door open that took five hours uh, in total and um, I'm really happy with that really happy with that well that beef jerky is in the freezer now I'm gonna be enjoying this for the next hour or so I'll leave all the details in the description if you like the video give us a massive thumbs up really appreciate you doing that that helps the algorithm and helps more people see it as well and uh, in the meantime folks take care of yourselves and I'll see you on the next video Bye.